the inauguration in Washington, D.C. of Barack Obama as the 44th President of the United States of America represents a new era in American politics and a great opportunity for the European Union and the world. On behalf of the European Parliament, I would like to wholeheartedly congratulate President Obama on his accession to the presidency as well as the incoming Vice President Joseph Biden. President Obama has put together a strong and impressive team and enjoys the goodwill of the European Union and people all around the world. With the arrival of this new US administration, we can relaunch transatlantic relations and put them on a new and dynamic footing. We have a unique chance to open a new chapter and engage in new thinking. Our aim is to forge a strong EU-US partnership based on equality. The European Union with almost 500 million citizens and the United States with its over 300 million share a common set of values and a common commitment to democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Together we represent a vast area of freedom and prosperity which brings with it shared responsibilities towards the rest of the world. The current global agenda, economic and financial challenges, climate change, energy security, the Middle East, terrorism and international crime, all require us to work together on an international scale. That is why I have invited the incoming President Barack Obama to address the European Parliament in early April during his first visit to Europe. He will be visiting for the G20 summit in London, which will be dealing with challenges to the global economy and the 60th anniversary NATO summit in Strasbourg and Baden-Baden, dealing with global security issues. The symbolic value of a presidential visit towards strengthening the bonds between our two great democratic systems cannot be overestimated. Addressing the European Parliament, the directly elected assembly of the 27 member states of the European Union, would allow President Obama to convey a powerful message of friendship and cooperation to the peoples of these countries. The last time, indeed the only time, that the United States President addressed the European Parliament was when President Ronald Reagan did so on the 40th anniversary of the end of the Second World War in May 1985. We are now in a different era with new challenges. Working together across the Atlantic is a key requirement of meeting those challenges. If the European Union and the United States can work successfully together, we can be a major force for prosperity, peace and civilized values in the world.